In a time of continued economic slowdown and financial uncertainty, a budget takes on an even more important role in any organization, including the church. The past few years have been difficult for many of the people of Huron, as well as for many of our parishes. Your budget subcommittee has been very conscious of this fact as we have deliberated and prepared the 2011 budget for the diocese. Preparing a 194 line item budget is not an easy task, especially when so many of our diocesan operating expenses are circumscribed by the canons and policies of the diocese. For example, our national church apportionment, which constitutes around a quarter of our total expenses, is determined by a formula similar to our apportionment formula. Funding for the Huron Pension Plan, Retiring Gratuity and Clergy Group Benefits constitutes another one quarter of the total diocesan budget. The bulk of this, too, is determined by our canons. We are recommending an increase in wages and benefits in line with the cost of inflation for our Synod Office staff, including our bishops, but this follows a year in which we gave them no increase at all. As we struggle with these expenses, we must also realize that the last decade has seen many of our undesignated trust funds depleted, paying for unplanned expenses such as the numerous lawsuits that the diocese has faced. This has resulted in a large decrease in our investment income on the revenue side of our budget. Couple these difficulties with those many parishes are facing, such that they are unable to meet their apportionment targets, it is obvious why the diocese ended the year 2009 with an accumulated deficit of over $226,000, which is the product of the last several years of financial results. As a result, a number of measures were implemented in the 2010 budget to present a budget with a net expenditure decrease. Regrettably, changes in staff at Huron Church House were the means by which this was achieved. With forecasting for the budget done halfway through the year and a greater than anticipated shortfall in the 2009 apportionment, further deficit reduction measures were implemented at Synod in May of 2010. Temporary suspension of regional funding and the Youth Mission Reserve and the non-renewal of other contracts at the Synod office were implemented. Where is the good news in all of this? Well, we turn to our diocese's strategic plan and its hopes and aspirations for the family of Huron as we seek to chart a new course for the years ahead. Our bishops have both provided leadership and counsel to this exciting new undertaking to plan for our future. We now hear from our bishop, Bob Bennett, to share a few words about the steps we are taking and our planned course for the future to help guide and sustain our ministry in the church in southwestern Ontario. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Uh, it, uh, it's a delight to, to uh, speak for just a few minutes about our, our diocesan budget as we get ready for another year and prepare through our council meetings uh, to uh, disseminate and reflect about, uh, about the budget and what it means for our life as Christians in Huron. I was, as I was thinking about, uh, about that, I was thinking about a workshop I attended uh, many years ago. It was a stewardship workshop and the leader of the workshop pulled his, uh, hey, pulled his wallet out and said, if you, if you want to know the values of a person, there are two places to look. You look uh, at how the person spends their money that's in their wallet or particularly their checkbook. And he, he argued that uh, uh, your checkbook and how you spend your money reflects the values you hold dear. I think something similar could be said about the, uh, the diocesan budget. If you look carefully at uh, the ministry that we're exercising through uh, the, uh, the diocesan budget across the diocese and beyond, it reflects the values that we hold dear as Christians. Uh, this was impressed upon me uh, when we had uh, consultants come from Toronto who uh, did an analysis of our budget in, in preparation for a meeting on financial development and financial management. And so they were, there were a clear set of eyes uh, that came from outside. They took a look at our budget and the ministry expressed in it and it blew them away, to be honest with you. They just said, it is wonderful uh, what kinds of things we're doing in God's name through our, our diocesan budget. So I encourage you as the, you move through this process of councils taking a, a good look at our over 200 line item budget at the values that we hold dear that are reflected there. I'm proud of the budget because I'm proud of the ministry that our diocesan family exercises in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless.
The 2011 budget for the Diocese of Huron projects net expenditures of $3.1 million after revenues in the plan of $398,000. Gross expenditures for 2011 are down $75,170 from this year's budget. Revenues are down $126,388 in the plan for 2011, but this is largely due to accounting measures planned for deanery funding savings and youth mission revenues presented in the 2010 budget. These budgetary planning revenues are not required for the 2011 budget. The balance of the revenue change, year over year, of $38,388 is reflective of reduced revenues from the ACW of $14,000 and $24,388 representing income and revenue from diocesan trust funds. Regarding changes to expenditures for the coming year, you will see from this video chart that we have increased the budget for bank charges and interest by $9,000 to reflect the actual cost being incurred by the diocese for its line of credit and for the administration of the pre-authorized giving program in the parishes. Of significance is a required increase for group benefit premiums for our active and retired clergy. For 2011, costs will increase $62,885 in this regard. This is largely the result of the cost reduction we experienced in 2010 as we went to our new carrier, but there is also the impact of benefit usage and increasing drug costs among our membership. New for 2011's budget is a line for fighting the deficit reduction of $22,600 representing our biblical tithe of 10% of our accumulated deficit. Regional funding and the Youth Mission Grant are withheld for the future. Because of staff reductions, Total staff salaries have decreased by $24,266. Our mortgage loan payments for the Synod Office have also decreased by $23,000 as our loan for a building is decreasing over time. As mentioned earlier, depleted trust fund income and the removal of cost savings from deanery funding for the 2011 plan will result in diocesan revenues down by $126,000 $388 year over year. Finally, the provision for apportionment shortfall from parishes has been increased to $243,252 to reflect the reality that many parishes are facing. As we present the 2011 budget to the Deanery Councils, we wish to look at the positive work that is done through our diocesan budget. The five marks of mission were an important part of Synod in 2010 and have been a banner in our church for the last several years as we look to continued ways to proclaim the gospel in our lives. We believe that these five marks are reflected in many ways through this budget in the good work that is done throughout Huron. The Bishop of Norfolk, Terry Dance, will conclude this video presentation with his vision of how our plan for financial resources through this budget helps to empower the five marks of mission. About 20 years ago, the Archbishop of Canterbury told the Lambeth Conference that it's no longer business as usual. We can no longer be seen as a church which is self-protective and self-supporting, or will die a slow and probably well-deserved death. And so the five marks of mission have become the mantra of the church, looking at human needs that are all around us, looking at the needs that are ecological, working for justice and peace. Jesus never said build a church, form a community, and hide behind the doors. And so, for our church and our diocese, the marks of mission have become the focus of what we're about. It's not to say that it's not important to take care of our buildings. It's not to say that it's not important to take care of our parish families. Obviously it is. But this is what our mission field is. It's outside the doors of our cathedrals. It's outside the doors of our churches where there are hundreds of thousands of people who need to hear that God loves them. And so our budgets, both in the parish, in the diocese, and the national church need to reflect a church which is looking out, trying to make a difference, trying to transform the world that God has given us. You may not be aware that 30% of our budget, which goes to the national church, is doing precisely that. 
30% of our annual apportionment goes to try and do work which is going to help to change the world and care for God's children that don't have all of what they need. It's easy to get caught up with the frustration of trying to maintain buildings and maintain congregations. But we're called to be a people who work together to try to transform the world, to try to bring God's healing, God's love, God's forgiveness, God's acceptance, God's hope, and God's joy to people who need it. If we do that, if we get away from business as usual and try to do what God has called us to do, what Christ commissioned us to do, then we can be excited about what we're doing and I think excited about what our apportionment dollars are doing. It's not about maintenance, it's not about taking care of ourselves, it's not about taking care of an institution, it's about changing the world that God put in our hands. Thank you for listening and thank you for your support of the work of Huron through its 2011 budget. Together we can make 2011 a better financial year.